catch me live! This is my streaming schedule for the week this video comes out. If you miss this window, check out my Twitter or my Twitch page to see the latest version. Maybe I'm streaming right now. But otherwise, let's get playing. Uh, it's, no, no, it's not doing it again. It's not like last stream. My controller is configured, I did it earlier. Right, so for you, those of you that weren't aware, last stream we had an issue. We couldn't go to the Froglands, the perplexing pool of Bikmin. So instead, I waited too long and I broke the game again. Excuse me. There was something wrong with the version we had, the, the coding was wrong, so the developers made another update, they actually did it while I was doing the second stream, and now I've downloaded that new update, my face is all broken, and um, now we should be able to play it. Basically. I jumped into it to test to see if it would work, I didn't actually go into the land, but I know it's different, because it's not named the Froglands anymore. Um, we saw a whole bunch of new enemies, so we're gonna do some reading as the very start up for this, let's get playing. And by that I mean reading. Or, this version has a broken piccolo. No, no, it's good. So if you missed last stream, you're in for a treat. This is our Bulbmin of the Bikmin series. Aiden, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. Let's read all about Callie and her little Callie followers. Uh, but I can't read while my mic's like this. So actually, I'm oof, gonna make it fall on me. You alright? Okay. Callie, ah, uh, Squidicus Splatoonicus, Squidmin family. This lonesome oof is, in fact, a kid squid hybrid. Fed up with the trash of game she came from, she's now stomping around, eating Bikmin and being fabulous. She can usually be seen being followed, followed by mindless fans. If you kill her, the fans will be confused, like when their fathers abandon them. They will deem you their new leader, but honestly, they're expendable. That's why you leave the dungeon. When you leave the dungeon, you won't. they won't follow you. Probably because they're flat. What little, what little oofs. The mother's, however, is a the mother, however, is a ravenous squid oof. So be on your guard. If you've never seen Bikmin before, this is a great introduction. Also, a lot of things are going on bitwise, so I've got to call them out. Uh, Tom the Mean King with four bits. Have you said Morningwood on Bikmin vid? Oh, when you said Morningwood on the Bikmin vid, I literally died. Well, I also said it on stream as well. But thank you. Something clicked over there, and I'm worried it's my pillows, but I don't think pillows are supposed to click, so who knows what I'm worried about. Um, McBoy with two bits. What in the world are those? Right? <laughs> uh, Zizo with... Yes, it was Zizo. Zizo with the host, thank you very much. Gamer with five bits. So, Daz, have you played through Life is Strange Before the Storm? I've played the first episode, and I've had the others, but I've never got around to it, so maybe one day. And Jamarat. Hmm. Yes. Um, for a little update, um, if you... Bit challenges have been refreshed now that we're on a new stream. Uh, they cost, I'm gonna go back on my first stream and say they cost 50 bits um, or more for you to put in a challenge. It can be anything you want, but no sacrificing and nothing that slows down the pacing. Um, but I decided to put it down to 50 because now that the YouTube won't let me advertise when I'm streaming, I'm gonna have a naturally smaller audience, so I might as well make it more inclusive. And that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, for those watching on YouTube, you're probably bored of me not watching anything, so. Let's do more reading. The Watery Bee Benson. Ah. Uh, Oof, Jazakus. Benson family. A variant subspecies of the Spicy Bee Benson. It's another... Uh, another oofing oofish bee. But this one spits water. Oofing riveting. Granted, it can only waterboard Bikmin, but literally, who cares? Since you are in a spacesuit, it barely gives you a, it just gives you a refreshing spray. This creature is literally useless because while the liquid it sprays is non-flammable, it's not water. I'm not sure what it is, but I've been tripping balls ever since I was sprayed. Okay. Um, do excuse me if I can't read the chat as well, it's way over here. I'll do what I can to, uh, improve, but we'll see. Autumn Bowl Bear. Oof Cheesicus Disguisicus. This hecking angry predator's aggressive oofation of high speed projectiles makes it one of the most fearsome creatures in the ecosystem. This is not an orange bowl bulb. It looks to be an orange bowl bear. Can't do too much. Wait, what's it doing? Oh god, why is its mouth opening like that? Oh Jesus, what the oof? Did it just fire grenades? Grenades? Or grenade grenades? Okay, so apparently this thing is not a bowl bear at all, but a oofing nightmare. I never thought I'd be scared so oofless by such a goofy walking sound. Jesus, why does this exist? Also, if this thing dies, it's able to come back to life. So store it ASAP. What a oof cheese disguise. What oofs? 
cheese disguise such a terrifying monster as a simple bull bear. You won't be able to damage its face because apparently it just wasn't it wasn't hard enough to deal with grenades coming from its oofing mouth. The one good thing at this is this cre the one good thing is this creature is oofed, as it will usually fall off cliffs. That's exactly how I defeated it last time, I think. That's disgusting. Picky fan, sorry I didn't make the second Bikmin stream. That's okay. It happens. They'll all be up on YouTube. Um, the last episode of the first stream has gone up now. So if you want a break and for 26 minutes, you can go there. But otherwise, that's cool. They'll be up eventually. You can see them later on YouTube. Like this episode. Queen Shearwig. Garena Laganus. Lagan I can't read. Mandelblad family. A mouth to pierce the heavens. Look at those tiny oof wings. Should have at least grown some legs first. Gives a new meaning to what that mouth do. Would not recommend sticking oof inside it. It would probably shish kebab it and rip it off. We'll fly away like a little oof. Jamarat with four bits. I don't know you I don't know how... I don't know you. I feel about these... Mo oh, I don't know how I feel about these notes. So many oofs. You are correct. There are a lot of oofs. If you'd like a better word than an oof, you can show it as a challenge and I'll have to say that instead. But don't. Let's keep it. Let's keep it nice. I don't like swearing. This is the Apache oof boy. My lord, there are a lot of oofs. Skarma. Oof. Kesperins. Skarma. Hmm. Family. I sexually identify as an Apache dead memes aside. The Apache oof boy swoops down to snitch communities for free helicopter rides before abruptly throwing them into the ground. It's best to launch... Point, uh, point eleven dot, I've forgotten, I don't know, I don't know that, I've forgotten what the bullet word is, dot eleven big rounds at around 22 BPS, boys per second. This will fell the Apache and make it vulnerable to gang beatings. Don't let up, they'll scout you all around the playground and once you think you're safe, boom, your children are taken and are given. Oh, it's Chunky Kong. I never worked out which one this was. Finlast Fonguki Bear Rock Hell. Dirigi Bug Family. Oh, of course, still the Dirigi Bug Family. This Kong floats with relative ease through the air using invisible balloons. Man, I should. I, well, I hope they were going to keep with the Donkey Kong rap thing. Upon closer inspection, this creature is using dead blowhogs. What a sick oof. Uh, did it just vomit an explosive? Okay, what the oof? That thing is roughly the size of its entire body, which is spelt wrong. Where the oof are its organs? It has a monkey like tail, but I'm not entirely sure how this one reproduce. Reprodu reproduces fun at carnivals? How it reproduces? Fun at carnivals. I think. I lost my grammar on that one. Dragon Slayer! What is the most amount of bits you've ever gotten? Um, 2000? I think I was given like. Tw yeah, 2000. It was to buy a game that I liked at E3, and I've yet to decide what game I want, but I might do at some point. Uh, piggy fan, boof. <sighs> Dear. Oof, Dwarvil, so many oofs. Mandarachnia, Sulfurnid, Dwarvil family. This oof Dwarvil is one member of an insect family known for mimicking objects by carrying them on their backs. Its fruity blue body is actually hecking cool, but as a defense mechanism, it rolls aggressively on its victims. Yeah, not exactly the smartest creature, just like all Dwarvil. Oh, not the most exact Spanish creature. Where are the full stops? Just like all Dwarvil, they have a tendency to steal stuff, like the rude oof they are. Oof. Oh my god, there's more. Oof, Dweevils. What happened to Dwarvils? Spit out bodily fluids in response to abuse. Dwarvil abuse is highly recommended. Blue is worst color. Fight me IRL in Bic Mincraft. <laughs> Mincraft. Good lord. Tom the Mean King. Wah to you too. Akiharu with 7 bits. Daz is going to get just course. The E3 presentation really got him. I have genuinely considered doing some kind of dancing charity stream event, but I didn't have like the, the backing for it in the past. I'd like to do a uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever, but with face cam, or I guess body cam, so, so where I have to do the motions of it all and it's all for money, for charity, but yeah. So uh, hey, if you haven't seen the man at legs yet, you're in for a treat. There it is. <laughs> the wah at legs. Pseudo Warachnia Navaronia. Walu. Sorry, I need to annoy it for a moment. 
This guy looks fun, doesn't he? He's great fun. I don't think he actually shoots. Oh. Walu Ragnorb family. This species of Walu Ragnorb fuses with machinery at a crucial point in the oof process, giving it the ability to fire energy bursts from the launcher beneath its face. Like it also. The wide legs, much like its name suggests, has big long legs and the powerful thighs of a man. It require it reminds me of my ex-boyfriend. I still remember his nasally wah whenever I go to sleep at night. That's how I came to name this tall, handsome beast. His long gun-like appendage makes me blush, even if it does kill my pigmen. Although his movement is unsettling, like he's trying to stomp me into the ground and hit me with a oofing tennis racket. The evolution of this creature sparked some controversy in the scientific community. The machinery approached the attack Norman proposed to him. I love a good romance story. Broken Dylan, thank you for the host. I'm still way lean over here, don't worry, I'll go over there in a bit. Picky fan, oh my god, the wire at legs. Holy buck, that's amazing. Oh yeah. We also found an impromptu water wraith. He just showed up on one of the levels for no reason. He looks like this. It's the Pepsi Wraith. Pep uh, Pepsi Phoebeo Sapiens, soda family. All that is known about this fizzy freak stems from a few sightings deep in the Pepsi machine. The reported sightings feature the same core set of details, a giant viscous form with a brown fizzy sheen not unlike cola soda. One theory holds that she may be the carbonated incarnation of a kind of fizzy phenomenon. This creature has been drinking cola, uh, cola soda so much she became the cola. Such incitings of this thirst quenching beast have reported to have an insatiable need to crack a cold one open. Its giant rollers say Pepsi, which for some reason makes me think of the term sellout. Could this be an advertisement for some sort of delicious product that quenches even the most insatiable thirst? Nah, maybe it's got something to do with our product Pepsi on our home planet. Although she's another squid oof, like this hack didn't have enough of them already. Oh, is someone throwing shade in the writing of this? If that's if so, that's a good place to hide it. What do I know? All right, we're gonna try this time. Well, this mic keeps wanting to fall down. We no longer have the froglands. We only have. Going on, so we're gonna try and see if we can go to. We can open prey, and the garbage stuff hasn't been reworked, so. Beautiful, isn't it beautiful? Ah, oh, I love it. I can see a new land. Oh, no discussion, okay. How long is this name? Look at it, just takes the whole screen. Okay, I thought it would like scroll across the next one. It doesn't. Right, if you have, if you wanna give bits at any point you can, cause at this point I'm just controlling vanilla, you know, I'm just, just going with it. Or not, don't have to worry about it too much. If you don't wanna see it, then we'll just play a normal game of Bakeman, if there is such a thing. Uh. Dragon Slayer with one bit, finally you can reach Right, it is so relieving. Now, I've forgotten entirely what I need. I probably need a Fiery Bulblax to deal with, so here. Let me take out like 45. We're going to obviously try and go for the Yellow Pikmin first, and then go to the cave straight after. At least that's my thinking plan. Um, can I again bring my mic a bit closer like this? Um, dude, why are you out of balance this time? What you, You've just been sat there the last like two days since the last stream. <sighs> Gamer, yellow Pikmin are the natives of this this place, and oh, you see them over there. Beautiful. Gemarant with eight bits. I would love to have a challenge, but I'm out of bits. That's fair. Um, look off in the distance. Why can't I position myself correctly? I can't see anything ever. Maybe I am going to have to be badly positioned again. I don't know. Mookboy, thank you for the host. Look! Off in the distance, wild Bikmin! Can you see them, Zero Suit Fox? Don't like this voice? You can send it in a challenge. People have been complaining about it, but it's none of my business. They are yellow, Bikmin! You encountered them when you crashed onto this planet, correct? 
Oh, right, yes, last time. Thought we were making a Pikmin 3 reference. It would be most helpful if they remember you like the red ones did. Yes, most helpful. Dazzle Kitty with, hey, 50 bits. This challenge might be too hard, but play with the controller face down so that you can't see the buttons. I can do that. Probably, yeah, it's like, re it's worse than reverse. It's half reverse. Up and down is normal, left and right is not. Okay, I can, I can try. We're doing it. Um, so what is this ground? I haven't quite fathomed what it is. Oh well. Picky fan of one bit. Oh look, wild pigmen. I wonder what kind of funny dumb description they have. We will see. Um, also, I've only got I've got minimal pigmen, so you know what I'm gonna. Well, we need the whites as well. Hold on. Freaking okay. This is still the worst part of Pikmin 2. Can I not get my other Pikmin? Oh, I wasn't holding a button. Sorry, I will get better at these controls. We might switch away from this challenge if people think it's too slowing down on the pacing. We have a normal purple Pikmin logo now. Is it actually a purple Pikmin? It is. It, they've just got the normal logo again. Okay, right. At this point then. Okay, that was just pure lucky. Oh, I can't. Oh, you idiots. I might change this 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 thing because of the pacing, this challenge. Are you going to all seriously kill yourself right here? I would prefer you didn't. Oh. We'll see. Jellio Jam, thank you for the follow. Um, actually, I'm going to change to Louie and get to this part in a moment, so... Like, like that. Can you please... No. Just do that for me. And I went the wrong way. Okay. I can already see people getting bored of this challenge. What is so impossible about these controls right now, anyway? I'm just being dumb. Yeah, just have all of them. Let me go all the way up this way. Let the scale glitch out for a moment. Okay, let's play, please. Oh, all right, and all that worrying about <laughs> fiery Bulblaxes are just a waste of time. Noted. Right, while we're here, we're going to have uh, Zero Suit Fox, or whatever they are, take everyone else back so we can actually use our yellows. Oof. Nope. Wrong way. Whatever happened to the Drake Red Quest Red Crest poster? I never had it. I had a Fallout poster. Like, not Fallout Boy, um... Oh, okay, no whites. Of course not. Um, it was a Fallout 3 poster or something. Like, it was just a generic pin-up Fallout poster. But it fell down because my my the uh, blue tack I used to stick it up was very, very old. And I've yet to buy new blue tack since. Now, hopefully that's enough. You know, these controls have gotten easier now that I've put the controller down again. Oh, well. Right, you guys can stay there. There are a lot of yellow pellets here. It's a bit suspicious, but okay. I always hated how quick the whistle was for this cutscene. I wish I could whistle them all and then see the cutscene, but it's always like the first frame. It's annoying me. Also, my hair is down and makes me look too young. I don't like it. The yellow big men have climbed down the tree and are staring in this direction. They appear to like thick thighs and seem to be quite light. They also have very large ears. If I had named them, they would be called Ear Pikmin. But I, or oh, Pikmin, I think that they, I think that is a curious. My static electricity sensors are reacting violently. What did he mean by this? <laughs> 